Hi, I'm Dr. Leslie Tay and this is my wife. Hello, I'm Lisa. And we are here at Helion Mall to tell you a story. What story? A Hainan story. Ah, but I'm hungry. Okay, don't worry. We're not just going to be talking, we're going to be eating, which is most important. Ah, what are we eating? Koi bui. There must be chicken rice. <laughs> Kaya gobi. Kaya gobi. Gobi. That's right. And we're going to jia tok. What's tok? You don't know what's talk, right? No! Okay, you better come and follow me. Okay. Let's go. So, this is Hainan's story. Right, it looks very nice. Actually, five concepts in one restaurant. Ah, that means you don't have to go to each individual stall and line up. That's correct. You can just buy all your food from one place. That's right. Okay, that's good. Two of these five concepts you're already familiar with is basically Winanki chicken rice and Achang porridge. Okay, and then there are three more that we will uh, soon discover. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And ordering is really very simple. It's basically like an ordering kiosk, like how you have in McDonald's. And then you just get your queue number and then go and collect when the time is right. Oh, okay. Let's go and order. Let's go and see. So we've ordered our food, I've got my ticket number, and now we're waiting. Let's wait. Wow, look wow. at that. It looks so good. Wow, it looks very <laughs> nice, huh? Yeah, everything wow. looks so good. So let me tell you about this newspaper, Anani's Curry Rice. Essentially, yeah. it's uh, a special... It's not a real recipe. newspaper. No, no, don't worry. It's not real newspaper. It's actually wax paper. Okay. And it's soy-based uh, print, so it's edible. I don't know why <laughs> eating on newspaper would be more delicious, but actually it makes it look really nice, that's really right, rustic. That's right, very yeah, rustic. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Very authentic. We are basically allowed to order the main, and then with the main, you've got a choice of the different kind of egg that you want, and also a choice okay. of what kind of vegetable as well. Okay. So I've got the uh, tapsai. What? Tap sai. Cup. <laughs> Forget tap it. Tap sai. Tap sai. Tap sai. You know, right? The Hainanese curry rice, you have the curry, you got the law. Mm -hmm. And then, actually, I wanted to have the chop chai. To me, curry rice has got all these three things. Mix it all together, and it's supposed to be super yummy. Right? There we go. Right. That's good. It's good. I like the curry. Actually, uh, this is the first time we're eating food. Uh. Yeah. You haven't tried it before. So you're getting our real reactions. Actually, the sweetness is from the law. Is that from the so law? So the law, the law adds a bit of sweetness to the, to the curry. Mm -hmm. And it sort of balances this out. Yeah. Sin Sia Po, the... I don't know why. I think it's a story about... It's the Hainan, Hainan story. story. <laughs> so I'm here with Uncle Robert. Uh, that's Uncle Robert. He doesn't really look like the, the one in the picture. Uh, actually, his name is Lem and he's one of the owners of this place. Can you tell us uh, how come uh, you have Uncle Robert as part of a Hainan story? Uh, Uncle Robert is no one. He's no one. But we just created a name just to represent the Hainanese kind of uh, Western. Uh. We need an English name to represent uh, the kind of uh, British Hainanese kind of uh, Western, so we, we, we try, why not we use Uncle Robert? So this is the um, oxtail stew, which is a classic in uh, Hainanese Western food. Yeah. Um, so you can try, mm -hmm. because the Hainanese came a little bit later than all the other dialect groups, so all the good jobs have been taken. Oh, okay. So they ended up uh, working for the British, uh, and uh, you know, they served in the Navy, in merchant ships, and then they were the cooks, oh, and yeah. so they, they learn how to do all the Western style food. You better try this. I, think I should be the one telling the story because my grandfather used to work on a ship apparently. Your, oh, your grandfather used to work on a ship? Yeah, that's right. Apparently, apparently. I was wondering how come your Hainan is so good? Why are you married to me Hainanese. as if you don't know I'm Hainanese? The other, the other half was Teochew. I thought I married a Teochew Ania. Soft is tender. Good, good. Most importantly, how much is this? This is 1880. Oh, that's not bad. I mean a lot of places that sell oxtail sell it for 20 to 30 dollars. Huh? Yeah, that's right. So it's pretty good value. Well, quite a few pieces. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next is the pork chop. Pork chop. Mm. Ah. Ah, looks very different from the traditional Hainanese pork chop, I would say. 
You know the traditional Hainanese pork chop? Mm -hmm. They use Jacob biscuits, right? Cream crackers. Yes. They cry, crush. This, this looks... It does look like he's using crackers. Uncle Robert told me <clears throat> the crust is actually potato chips. Potato chips? No wonder it's a bit tongue. Yes, yes, yes. Now that you said it, it does smell like potato chips. <laughs> mm. Okay, my only gripe with this is that I need to have my tomato base yeah. sauce. Yeah, maybe if they maybe if they fried it a little bit less. Well, okay. This much good. Okay. Okay, so the next two chapters of our Hainan story. Mm -hmm. This is chicken rice. That's right, Minamki chicken rice, which you're all familiar with. Yeah, chicken rice actually uh, is uh, number one hawker food in Singapore, number one. And uh, we have the Hainanese to thank for it. Yeah, that's right. Goi bui. Goi bui. <laughs> Good thing is all the chicken mm -hmm. are prepared here. It's not prepared in the central kitchen and then delivered here. Mm -hmm. okay. So they actually cook it here, so it's fresh. Okay, and this is Achiang porridge. Okay, this is what you call in Hainanese again? Tok. 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 That's right. <laughs> it's nice to be able to eat Hainanese style porridge in a, in a nice environment like this. Oh, this is comfort food. Yep. It's really comfort food. I mean, these are two very well known brands. And um, you don't really need to tell everybody about it. Like. You all should know already. One more chapter to go in our Hainan story. Kopi and kaya toast. Ah, favorite breakfast. Another legacy of our Hainanese uh, forefathers. This bun style is very original. But the ultimate indulgence yes. really is this piece of butter that you can dunk into your coffee. If you like coffee Vienna, it's about there la, because Vienna is a cream and then how do you get butter? You churn the cream and you get butter, right? This is a very old school way of uh, drinking your coffee. But if you have cholesterol problems, please don't do this, okay? Or else your doctor will scold you. The kaya looks a little bit different from the normal pandan or even the traditional Hainanese kaya. I think it's, your, it's a gula malaka kaya. But overall, it's good. Yeah, I absolutely love the bun. It's soft and it's like, mm, and it's sweet as well. So mm. overall, this is a very delicious dessert. This, this, this is good, this is good. Maybe you have a choice between traditional Hainanese, pandan, and gula malaka. Wow, okay. So good, right? <laughs> For those of the people who like, can also buy a bottle of this. This is 420. It doesn't have any preservatives, so it can really last about one week. I was told that uh, kaya was invented by the Hainanese. So the only way I can think of it is ka. Ka means to stir and ya. Maybe it's like ya jiu, which means coconut. So maybe that's what it means, to stir the coconut. coconut. Because yeah. uh, you know when we are talking to all these old school uh, Hainanese uncle, they always say that you can never stop stirring the kaya. So you know the traditional way, they have one big pot, the whole family is involved because all the kids, right, will take turns. You say, my turn to stir. Then the next one, will say, okay, you're here, yeah, cool, cool, you got it stir. And if you stop stirring your kaya, you cannot whack. <laughs> That's why it's called ka, the ya. <laughs> okay, so what do you think about this place? Well, I think overall it's a very interesting concept and uh, it's a way of celebrating one dialect group's uh, contribution to our uh, culinary heritage. Definitely look forward to more Hainan Story around Singapore. But if you are here at Helian Mall, definitely come and check out Hainan Story and come and jia jia jia. Hey, I thought it's the last chapter already. Uh, this is the epilogue. <laughs> we actually forgot to do this one. So we got to do it now. Okay, this is the lamb stew. Mm, okay. I'm told that this is one of their signature dishes. Really? Yeah, so really? it looks very much like the top side because it's got all the uh, the bean curd thing and then it's got the, the black fungus. Uh, but most importantly, it's got lamb, right? It reminds me a bit like uh, beef brisket, yeah. you know the ngao lamb? Yeah? Yeah. It's quite nice, quite nice, quite nice. It doesn't have that gamey. Uh, flavor that sometimes uh, people are scared of when they eat lamb. Huh? So, okay, so that's the lamb stew. Mm -hmm. 
So now is really the end of the story. Really? Yep, the end. That's it. Okay. No more. Yeah, you can see the video is already gone. <laughs> okay, bye bye. <laughs>